Bendayako is frustrated and her conscience is judging her as regards Namkanu spirit and 70 million BR francs. Do you think that's because she's, she's scared or her conscience is judging her? Uh, yes, uh, look at the consciousness first, like you just said. Yes. You know, she's conscious first. Mm. Then look at the law. Mm. Okay, let us even remove um, uh, conscience. Let us mm. look as if it's a personal thing. Mm. Let's look at what did the law say? And then, and, and actually, how, where did they say the the, the tight thing uh, that he committed the offense? Uh, did he commit the offense in Nigeria? Did he commit the offense in uh, uh, Abuja? Uh, did he commit the offense in Lagos? Uh, did he, where did he actually commit that offense? Uh, he committed that offense as being alleged. You know, they wrote a statement now. Mm. There was a statement say, "Ah, you committed so and so thing. You did so and so thing. So and so thing. So and so place." Huh? Then. Is that the reason why you go beyond the international court in law mm. eh, that guys binds the Commonwealth nation? You went to a Commonwealth nation like Nigeria, which is Kenya, and you abducted mm. a Commonwealth citizen. Mm. They don't know what they are doing. Oh, yeah? We have gone to the court, the same court, uh. to the Supreme Court. They mm. said, This man is. Innocent. Uh, no, Brinta Yako actually, according to uh, revelations we had lately, uh, uh, knew that this matter is just being uh, financed mm. by some uh, people, uh, you know, and uh, based on his status as a, 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 a justice mm. or, or, of that case, mm. you know, um, he need to struggle with it for some time. Mm. And it has come to a point, mm. you know, that the whole world has begun to make mockery of the judicial process. He had no other thing than to look at it very clearly and say, we cannot not to keep on the kind of adjourn, 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 adjourn in the next 100 years. Mm. There's no law that can hold him down in Nigeria. Then, take him to UK. I, I think we have been saying it here before. Mm. Even when we saw it, you know, that, that it was illegally reditioned back mm. to Nigeria. Then, what did the international law say? What did the Nigerian law say? Mm. Then, what is the Commonwealth uh, uh, bilateral relationship says? Yeah. It's just like where we have Bini as a kingdom. Do we still have Commonwealth colonies around him to today? This Bini Empire saying. And if you come to that level, then we activate it. Britain it has Commonwealth. Nations colonized by the British government. That's what they call Commonwealth, which Kenya is one. Then Nigeria is also under Commonwealth. You went to another Commonwealth nation and abducted and with that fully. So they knew that they were just being vindictive unnecessarily because Namikano was busy revealing secrets of what is going to come and the need for the Igbo nation to prepare for the consequences to bridge the gap. It's very really clear how he stood. Bro, do you know what it means to command such influence? No, bro, no African would do it. Mm. Apart from Nessie Man, to understand, now, in some other countries of the world, now, especially in Africa, now, they are making reference. Anybody is talking now, mm. any analyst, go and take it all over the world now. They are making reference to Namdekano. Mm. Did you see that young man in the courts? Uh, yes. It's not going to happen. No, it won't happen. It won't happen. It doesn't yeah. happen. It doesn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. it doesn't happen that way. Thank you. Thank, you. At all. Thank, Thank you very so much. These are the things that the public must understand. Most of you journalists, the legal correspondents, you don't take time to actually study yeah. some yeah. of these rulings and judgments. Yeah. Yeah. Go and study. In fact, I'll give you this. Uh, yes. What is this? I'll give it to her because I think she's a bit more. Um, give her the truth or judgment. Can you hold this for me? Yes. She can. I want to let the whole world understand something. Very, very clear. In all this, this is the judgment of the Supreme Court. It made it very clear that even that the impartiality of the judge is questionable. And is here. Where is the please do bear with me? It says it here. What is it, page? What is that again? Where, 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 where it says all these things are online. Is it not page 18? All these things are online. So I suggest that the journalists in this country actually take out time to do some basic research. It's not difficult, just minor research. You will understand the vacuousness, the emptiness of all the charges against me. Okay. They kept, they kept switching the charges. Yes. 
They said I committed this crime in England, isn't it? Yes. I made a broadcast in England. Yes. And in nine charges leveled against me, this place where I committed this crime was London in the United Kingdom. Yes. When my lawyers came to see me, to I defense. had a discussion with them mm -hmm. about how I'm going to defend myself. They removed it. I told them that no court in Nigeria has jurisdiction to try me. They removed that long so because, that. because since this offense was committed in England, so they said, mm -hmm. it's only a UK court that can give a Nigerian court the authority to proceed, isn't it? Yeah, based, based on that, they removed London. Based on that, they now amended the charge again and removed, and removed London. London. Location mm -hmm. of the broadcast. Location of the, of, of the broadcast. Right, so, 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 Contrary to section 196 174 yeah. of the Terrorism Prevention Act 2022. In violation of their own laws. That's in right. violation of their own laws. And you want me to stand trial under such circumstances, is that possible? No, 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 no. they can to stand trial where these shenanigans are going on. No. In the courts, did you see him? Did you see the level of comportment? Mm. Did you see the level of exposure? Mm. Did, did you see the, the, the level of prowess in him? Mm. Did you see the knowledge? Did you see the wisdom in his vision? Did you see the courage? In game we said that was where everybody with the courage, the bravery, the mastery. Mm. Uh, and they begin to weigh everybody became silent they begin to weigh the option but that thing is look if they don't do it but they are looking at it from different things the structures that kept biafra is still alive you don't you don't know that there are structures that kept biafra or they would, we should start telling them there are structures that kept biafra for four years and stood against the whole world. I can give you names of countries that fought against Biafra. That's a tiny. And that war brought necessity and that war brought invention. Today, black man, black Africa are celebrating the ingenuity of 1967, where a white man has no input in the Biafra technology, in the black man's technology. Go to uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Niger Delta now. Before they dig anything down the ground mm. to extract crude oil from the rock. No, they don't tell you that you, the crude oil they extract from the rock. They are hitting the bedrock. And as I the Kuba, I laugh at them. They don't know what they are doing. Yes, they believe that when the battles hard, the Igbos will have solution because it is their colony. They are hitting the bedrock and they are extracting crude from there. There's no black man professor in Nigeria that no has to go dive into the more than 6,000 feet below the ground to deep pipe there, except the white man comes and do it. But the Biafras did their own without the white man's input. They have been telling them with, uh, well, it looks like what you know, Erofai, the former governor of uh, um, Kadnate, said uh, that the Igbos looks, the people are looking at Igbos as if they don't know what politics. That it was them that actually brought democracy. That time will come when that little bread will transform to balloon. They don't know. It has started. The game has started. Somebody was handing over a, a constitutional ceasefire. The Nigerian press and media turned it to surrender. The, the, the son of that man is still alive in the United States of America. The document that connected that ceasefire uh, agreement is still very relevant. That Philip F. Young never surrendered Biafra to anybody. What they had in a conflict like this was a ceasefire. They now come, we are saying Biafra actually surrendered. It was something like that. And he said, as I'm signing, he told us, Andrew, as I'm signing this document, if you fail to treat the children of these people well, their own children will rise. I, I'm telling I'm telling about I mean, Decades ago now, yeah. will rise and uh, I'll question the rationale why they will be treated like that. That is one, two, three. The third one will survive it. 
Well, have the first one, the second one, the third one is survivor. That, they, that, they, that's what he's telling you. That I, Mazin Namdekano, will stop the oppression of the black man anywhere in Africa. I was so confident. The, 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 bro, I'm telling you that Nigerians itself are happy. That somebody like Namdekano, yes, no, I'm telling you, the not us are happy. The outsiders are happy. That somebody like Namdekano could rise from Nigeria. Everybody's happy. The, the, uh, look at the uh, level of uh, the looter save. No, because they don't know where the guy is coming from. They don't know where, that, that, where they are holding is the head or the tail. If you hold him here, he is there. If you hold him here, he is there. So, the, the, everybody is just. Guys, the woman, look at it. No, because you are giving me headache too much. It's, it's okay. Please, I'm, I'll, I'll leave this thing for you. No, that, that's it. Because. At any point, it, and, and, and it, and at any point, it takes this fine. thing to you know people question. Oga, what did the Lord say about this? He opened the book. He opened the book. That's what Fela Nicolopoulos said. Said, if you doubt what I say, I'll open book for you. What did the book say about this thing? That's what Fela Nicolopoulos said. You look at Nigeria and say this is okay. I declare my own republic in Nigeria, Fela. So why is the name the issue a different thing? Because. The light to illuminate in darkness is not easy. Mm. To produce light in darkness is not easy. A blind man cannot produce light. A blind man can you know where to how you going to do to put matches? Not no, possible. No, it, it, that means that for you to be in darkness and produce light, there's something behind it. So that light. Is what is illuminating, is breathing, and it, that's more like you're saying. And the, the Bible says that I will multiply, just like he told Abraham in the Bible. They were asking, How the, this, is, this is going to come? How does it, how will it come? I, I don't think my wife cannot even be pregnant. God told Abraham, I will make you the father of, na of nation. I don't have. I'm old, I can't produce. Is it your business? God was asking Abraham, is it your business? It's not your business. How do Abraham will come? Leave it. Everybody today, I can tell you, that's the way they said, uh, pastors, they be church rat. You know, here, they don't talk about in a village. If you see the one go marry pastor, they will say, don't go there, don't go there, I'm a church rat. Uh, you know, you don't marry. But today, what, does, what did God do? Did anybody know how God did it? The pastors has come on and told you that their God is rich and their God is rich. Oh yeah, can we prove it? They have even employed more than government parastatas. It's a starting point because in every era there are always pioneers. These are pioneers. Another set is coming. But we are going to that level that even Every one of them, including Ambassador, are rethinking, are rethinking, are rethinking. Go one is rethinking, IBB is rethinking, uh, Abu Salam is rethinking. Everybody, Danju, one of them is rethinking. Where did we go from here? Where did we go from here? Where do we go from here? The message is that the only solution is to erase. Com See, if you are talking about something and you are not providing solution, you hear me? She don't know what you're saying. When God told Israel about that, I'm going to restore. <laughs> was there anything like Israel that time? But 4,000 years after, a certain man from Russia, Chen Wisma, started a movement called the Zionist movement. Today, Israel became a nation. Masob came. Yes, Masob. IPOB came. Do you know IPOB? was an acclaimed official UN recognized organization for self-determination because it has it indigenous anything that's indigenous has a very deep attention among the security council among the united nations among UN agencies and it was registered acknowledged now they kind of stepped out to ask that whatever that has denied black man be given to the black man. And God has given it already. God told him that I'm giving you. But you didn't see them, you didn't see them, they kind of kneeling down in so many places. I'm asking God, 
I'm praying. Does your um, are they asking you think it's what is your daddy? Are you not seeing him in different places, kneeling down, asking, praying? Are you not seeing him publicly? We must return to the root, to the source. And if Nigeria failed to return to the source of divinity, bros, nobody let them come out and tell me that they have the power to give to make water or create air. You are breathing. You don't know what you are breathing. You are not seeing it. Uh, let one, one person, one man, come and say, "Yes, I can do water. I can bring. Let I me mean, make the sky go hang for air. If we cannot do it." Then you cannot be able to stop their friend. That's what they cannot for them. Because this source is connected to divinity. It's not all this uh, one woman sat down at, uh, at uh, New York and said, uh, let us call them Nigeria. And we came and we look at the meaning of Nigeria and we discovered that Nigeria means darkness. Yes, that is the truth. Yes. Then, now, then, we then, then, then how come, then the question is that we are in darkness. Then, how come light came? Do you understand what I'm saying? Then, how, how light came? If you are in darkness, everywhere is dark. Then, how did light came? It becomes a mystery. And that is why Biafra is a mystery to anybody, anytime. Unless they unless they go. If uh, uh, Ojo should resign, is not capable. For it is not in his ability or capability to stop our petition mm. from reaching the chairman of AU. Mm. Because it was not in his end or her end to not to pre present that case, that petition to the chairman. But this, this thing has come to play, that political hatred, which the, uh, they have against the Igbos, because the petition was based on Biafra to AU. And as a result of that, Ido decided not to forward it. He ended with it. And uh, which Simon Akpan was like, is not competent. Of a truth is not. Because it wasn't in his end not to submit to that. Because he's not the one that had the final say. Or to decide, or to preside over that petition. So he doesn't have the right to trash it. Are you getting it? So either he resigned or he faced the consequences. He must be sued or he resigned because he's incompetent. He's not qualified. He did not merit to be there. So this is the point that Samanapan is trying to prove. Not just to you and I, but to you and to other African nations and to the world. That hatred doesn't supposed to play. It doesn't supposed to play in AU as organization. It doesn't supposed to play in ECOWAS as organization. It is something that everybody they must give an audience to everybody. Hearing listening ears to everybody. But now they are causing segregation, and as a result of that impunity uh, uh, in them that makes people like Senegal, Burkina Faso, Niger, and uh, Mali decided to separate themselves from anything called African unity and the ECOWAS. Which uh, Tunubu Mr. Punishment has to build their head, their leader. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, them doesn't want to continue in that kind of leadership. Yeah. They hate it because it's a leadership of impunity. Impunity, how do I mean? Sin. They see through to the turn it upside down. 
They say the right thing to do that we bend it in order to do it. Are you hearing me? So that is why that man, he do who don't suppose is because he's not qualified. He need to resign. Hey, you should look for a capable hand, please. So do you think he's doing because of um he's a Yoruba person and he sees uh he knows like how far I, the Ebola and the Biafra like go. I said uh, the hatred uh, don't you hear my statement? Uh, yeah, I use the word hatred which somebody like him had against the Biafra, which is the boss. And uh, he knew very, very well that the petition was based on the Biafra mm. issue. Uh. So on that note, he doesn't want to forward it. Mm. So he should resign. He should resign. He should resign. Mm. Because he's not in his position to do that. The people that have rights to trash it, it's not just only the chairman uh, it should be a collective effort because chairman will present it in the house there will be a, a, a meeting there will be a kind of vote based on that petition audience ideas whether there is a merit on it or not but whereby this is not checkmate that means there is something is fishing somewhere and that is what has come to play mm. and i believe that if the world has seen it that it may go in the favor of biafra are you getting it mm. that is why he trash it mm. it doesn't it did not allow it to go to the chairman and for on that note i still stand to repeat again let it do resign quit that office is incompetent but if it is incompetent, do you think even though it, even though it didn't block you know the letter, but do you think AU have not seen you know um supported or declared you know Biafra? So what's the point? That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, Whether AU support or not, let it get to their table first. And let me tell you, reaching their table is not going to be a Nigeria affair. It is going to comprise africans mm. from different countries and different ideas with the different reasons mm. which i believe people like uh, people like senegal too will be there mm. are you hearing me yeah people like india will be there people like uh, burkina faso togo and the rest mm. mali and other go to south africa too mm. but, and uh, uh, uh like uh, congo mm. ghana what is their name? Malicious and other nations will be there. So ideas will be shared. It's not going to be Nigeria affair. So definitely that is why I say there is every tendency of it playing to the favor of the Gafa. And that was what Mr. Idowu is scared of. That is why he blocked it. But that with that stupid and nonsensical attitude and action which he has played he, 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 he and his action will not stop Biafra from coming